So I finally got around to doing a makeup tutorial. I actually do my makeup quite often, but I don't get a chance to record it because these hair companies want me to only show the hair and I get quite overwhelmed with all the hair companies I work with because somewhere along the line, I've made a mistake where I have allowed um, the hair company, the companies that I work with, the hair companies that I work with to be a large source of my income. And now that I am becoming um, a little, you know what, I'm not even becoming burnt out doing the hair tutorials because I really love experimenting with new hair and showing you all new looks. But because those videos don't get a lot of views, it's underwhelming. You know what I mean? Like, do I want to keep doing this? How can I continue to do this but also incorporate something else? There's just a lot going on with my social media, what I should do. A lot of days, I just want to not post anymore. I just want to go and get me a regular job and that's it. There's a lot, a, a lot of times I want to quit at this entrepreneurial lifestyle because it is really difficult. It's really time consuming. It's really depressing. Um, you have to be extremely, what's the word I'm looking for? You just have, you have to be extremely dedicated and committed to your schedule um, it's also a lonely feel because it's not like you have co-workers. And unfortunately, another mistake that I know I have made is that I don't go to events. I don't socialize. I don't. <laughs> I, I, I'm i just not um, great at networking. I've never have been, which is crazy. I came across like I was, but I really never was. I, it was anxiety-filled networking, but at least I got it done. Um, so that is something that I do need to get back into if I want to continue with this social media. I also think because there's so many people on social media doing the same things and it feels like we're all crabs in the barrel trying to climb out, trying to make it to the top. And then when you get to the top, you have to keep going. It's just this never ending cycle. Oh, so that's where I'm at. Um, you know what? I'm supposed to be telling you guys what I'm doing with my makeup. And instead, I'm over here having a rant about my lack of motivation. But y'all know motivation don't last. It's all about commitment and dedication. So I have none right now. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I don't be wanting to come online and just be a Debbie Downer, y'all, you know? But I am such a Debbie Downer at the moment, and I'm working with my therapist. I'm taking my antidepressants and my anti-anxiety medications. I'm trying to get more outdoors because I can stay in the house for like a whole week, okay? I don't, I don't need to go outside, but... I know for my mental health, I should go outside. Um, and I also want to vlog more, but it's just like, don't nobody watch my videos. I mean, I should not say that because I do have, I do have um, some supporters that have been with me since the beginning. And you guys always are here for me. And I read your comments. And I'm like, you see, people do like me. <laughs> and, you know, I really, really appreciate it so much i but at the same time when i see all these other girls and you know here comes comparing i'm human i do compare myself to other um youtubers who are doing so well and who are able to really make a good living off of their content because they get the views and they get the engagement you know 
I get kind of like discouraged like yo I've never had that amount of views and engagements and actually I shouldn't say never because I've had it in the past and then I didn't stay consistent and for that I'm, I'm always beating myself I'm always beating myself up for that and I think about the fact that the algorithm doesn't really like me <laughs> I shouldn't say it doesn't like me but it doesn't really help me at all it doesn't push up my content at all um, of course I do know but then you know I want to say like I do know because I make hair videos people don't want to see that but I also do know that there's a lot of other girls who make hair tutorials and hair videos and they get a lot of views and engagements so I'm like I feel like I put in a lot of work a lot of time a lot of creativity into my hair videos so what's the tea what's the tea but you know maybe that's just not my niche that's not what my folks want to see so I am trying to figure all that out while also trying to um, figure out what I want to do right and I know you're asking me well Clemmer what about school <sighs> I like when I first started going to college I was so motivated and inspired I had this goal and I just don't have that goal anymore um, and I know I need to go back because your associate's degree is just like having your high school diploma so I would love to go back and get my bachelor's and my master's however in psychology however I just don't have the the ment I wish my mom would stop yelling in the background. I just don't have the mental, I don't have the commitment that I had before. Like it, when I read a book, I can fall asleep in two seconds. I'm just not that same girl that I was in 2018 when I started school. But that is something that I think about all the time because I still would love to be a psychologist. Or even a therapist because honestly I ain't trying to be in school for that long if COVID had not happened this is an excuse and a reason it's a, it's a valid excuse it's an excuse but it's a valid reason if COVID had not happened I would have never stopped school the last month of um, my associate's degree that's when COVID hit and we went online I hated doing online schooling because I'm more of an in-person like I love that classroom experience so when everything went online I got really really discouraged and when the schools opened back up it was still everything was online you know people were just struggling with in college taking their online courses and my experience with online classes i disliked it so much that i said okay when schools open back up and i'm able to sit in the classroom then i'll go for my bachelor's and master's and i have not done that i have not done that because in the meantime the same fire i had i no longer have i actually don't have fire for anything and i think it comes from being burnt out with hustle I'm tired of hustling because I've been hustling for so long yeah I've been hustling since since I can remember okay my first job was at 14 years old and I ain't never stopped working since I've always been working and taking care of myself taking care of my mother taking care of whoever I'm with you know thank God I'm with Christina because oh she is just amazing I mean granted in the beginning of our relationship um the financial burden why why i didn't hear you sorry about that but granted in the beginning of our relationship the financial burden was more in me but in the past what six seven years she has stepped up so royally which has also allowed me to step back some um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's me being lazy. I don't know what it is, y'all, but I just don't, I'm tired of this entrepreneurship <laughs> because it's so inconsistent, right? And, um, another thing that I know, listen, I'm going from subject to subject. I'm just rambling at this point. All the products that I am using will be in the description box below. Another thing too, I feel like I haven't evolved, right? Like some girls have 
evolved. They have started doing other content. And I just feel like I have not evolved. I'm doing the same thing I was doing when I first started. And to be honest, I don't know how. Like, I don't know how to evolve, right? I was thinking about doing movie reviews because I'm a movie head. But then I made the channel. I posted my first movie review. And then I just didn't do it. I didn't promote it. I didn't show it all because I feel like it's, I feel like it's not going to go anywhere. Which I shouldn't think that way, right? Everyone tells you that you should um speak positive and and all that stuff but it's just like i see everyone around me making it and i'm just not so i have um really low self-esteem when it comes to social media and i'm just like i don't want to be disappointed again i don't want to start a new pro project and then be disappointed again however i also know that i shouldn't think that way i should just go for it I should just go for it. But just the thought of hard work is a turn off for me right now because I've been doing it for so long. I'm just tired. Like the other day, uh, my mom was like, because she wants to start a business with me. However, I've started businesses with my mom before and she don't listen. I end up doing all of the work and no, no. But, you know, the other day she was talking to me. She's like, well, what do you want to do? Um, this is what you want, you know, she was like, um, therapy, is therapy even working for you? Why are you even in therapy? Is it even working for you? And I'm like, listen, <laughs> I'm at the point where I am just living. I am not trying anymore to be this millionaire, to be this super rich person. At this point, hopefully it does change because I would like to eventually get my mojo back but at this point i'm not stressing i'm not living my life to make you proud i've done that <laughs> i've done that and nothing came out of it i'm living my life for myself i'm living my life i'm, I'm just not i'm just not in the struggle I'm, I'm just not in the hustle life right now i'm definitely not in the soft life how you know, all the girls been taught, all the black girls been talking about living this soft life. I'm definitely not living a soft life because I still have very much bills. <laughs> you know, I still have to eat healthy. I still have to exercise. I still have to lose weight. I still have to do all these things that make me not want to get out of bed. So I'm definitely not living a soft life, but I'm, and I am stressed, but I'm trying not to stress myself out with trying to be a millionaire it is really fucking hard <laughs> and i i don't even know it's, it's just really hard and i see all these girls who start who have no experience in makeup no experience in hair no experience in skincare and they will start a brand and make a million dollars overnight now i do understand another thing too that that could be viral you know viral a viral moment could really make you a lot of money i haven't had a viral moment in all of the times i've been on the internet i just have not had a viral moment so you know a lot when this happens when a person all of a sudden makes a million dollars and he just started their business a year ago and they've already sold a million dollars in inventory um a lot of times they went viral and then you have to think about it. If you start a business, a million dollar company, um, you have to think about employee. You have to think about providing them health care. You have to think about payroll. You have to think about inventory. You have to think about um, the product inspection, uh, warehouse, um, all kinds of stuff, you know, and I don't want to do that. And that's what I'm trying to explain to my mom. Like, if you want to do something, do it. Like, why do you need me to do it? Like, give me a break. I haven't had a break my whole life. I'm, I'm taking a break, okay? Like, I would like to worry about myself. I don't have children. So the decisions that I make in life, they only affect me and possibly the people that care for me. But it doesn't affect anyone that I, that, that it, it shouldn't affect anyone in the way of how a child depends on a parent. It shouldn't affect you in that way. And if it does and you're an adult, you need to reevaluate a lot about yourself. What rant did I just go on? <laughs> Anyways, I can't believe I just talked so much just now. <sighs> so you all also know that 
I'm getting married. I just don't know when. I did tell my mom. She's she didn't really say much about it. I can't really tell you her response. She just she does I know she doesn't want me to. She doesn't really care. But it is happening. I don't know when, but soon. Anyways, video's over. <laughs> I will see you all in my next tutorial. Love you and thank you so much for listening. You know what to do. Subscribe, turn on those post notifications, leave me some comments, and I will see you all next time.